Today I'm going to show you how to fix faded or stained trim quickly and easily. Now this is a big common problem on a lot of cars because either wax stains the trim, you're using too heavy of a cleaner, or the sun has actually faded the trim and it's become discolored. Now in this 2014 Mustang, it actually went to the body shop and when the body shop was polishing it, they did a poor job and they didn't actually tape up all the plastics. So if you notice all the plastics around the door and the mirror have this white stain on it. And that's because they were probably using a rotary polisher with a wool pad. And when the wool pad was buffing the mirrors or the pillar that goes along the door, it actually touched the plastic right here and permanently stained it. Now there's a way to fix the problem. It's not permanent damage. You can actually repair it using a trim restorer. So I'm gonna be using our Chemical Guys Tire and Trim Gel. Now the gel is a super trim restorer. So it's gonna seep deep down into the pores of the paint. It's gonna remove any white or chalky look or any wax residue that's on the surface. And it's actually gonna protect and enhance the look to make sure that it looks original again. Now this works on all types of trim that's unpainted or textured. So it works on plastic trim. It also works on rubber trim and vinyl trim as well. Now this can work on tires, so if your tires are faded or they're brown, it can restore the black look back to your tires, but this is great for trim and it's gonna restore this look really easily. So I'm gonna first take some tape and I'm gonna put some tape on here just to make sure that we see a good 50-50 difference when we're doing the trim restoration. Now when I'm restoring trim, I like to use a foam applicator pad. You can use a microfiber towel, you can also use a microfiber applicator pad, but I like to use a foam applicator pad just because for me, it feels good in my hand and it's a lot easier to get down and push the uh, trim restore or the gel deep inside the pores of the plastic. Now this plastic is textured. Maybe you can hear that my finger rubbing against it makes a light noise, but that textured plastic means that you need to push the trim gel deep into the pores and the texture of the plastic trim so it makes sure that it gets a nice even finish. So let's use our trim gel and restore some trim. So when you're using trim gel, you only need to use a tiny bit. This one's actually sealed up, so we're gonna open it up. We're gonna take the little cap off. There we go, we got a brand new bottle. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of trim gel and I'm gonna put it on the pad. You only need a small drop like that because that's all you really need to go. A little bit goes a long way when you're using the trim gel. Now that I have the trim gel on my applicator pad, I'm going to start rubbing it in to the plastic. Now as you notice, I'm pushing some force on the plastic and I'm making sure that I rub it in and get it deep into the cracks. That's important, you don't wanna just spread it on, you wanna make sure that you rub it down. Now since we're restoring trim, you wanna just add a little bit as you go. I'm gonna add a little bit more now. And that's gonna help me rub it deeper into the trim. Now if you're just dressing trim, you only need a tiny bit, but if you're restoring trim, you wanna use a good amount and rub it deep into the trim itself. There we go. Now, I'm going to take off the tape so you can see the 50-50 difference. Look at the difference that it made on the trim. This is where the trim used to be white and chalky looking. And now, with the trim gel, it's actually dry to the touch. It feels really smooth and it's restored that black look. So I'm going to take some more trim gel and rub it in to fix the rest of the difference here. And that's really what you're doing. You're trying to restore the trim by rubbing a little bit of trim gel in at a time to make sure it looks its best. Now, same thing right here on the front. A buffer touched the front of the mirror and actually made the stain. I'm going to take the trim gel. I'll add a little bit more. Notice I'm not adding a lot as I go. I'm only using very, very small drops. And we're going to rub it into the plastic. Now, look how it's removing all of the yellow chalky look or any of the white chalky look. It removes any browning from plastic as well, and it restores the original look of the trim. There we go, that's a brand new look, look at that. Now that mirror looks much better, it doesn't look discolored, it doesn't look stained anymore. It's restored the original look of the trim to make it look its best. Now let's move up here and restore some trim on the pillar right here. So I'm going to take some more tape, put another piece of tape right here. 
That way we can show another 50-50 difference. So I'm going to take my applicator pad and I'm going to put another drop of trim gel. You notice I'm never using too much trim gel. I'm only using enough just to get started and to make sure I restore the trim. So let's restore the pillar piece. So I'm going to first spread it on the surface and then I'm going to work it in. And notice I'm actually working the gel in. You don't want to just take the gel and rub it on and then stop. You want to actually spend the time to push the gel into the surface and restore the look. And even look, when we take the tape off, you see how chalky and nasty the original trim was. Even over here, how stained and discolored it is. So I take more trim gel, I can just rub it in and restore that look. Now this is designed for exterior plastics, rubber, and vinyl. So you're not supposed to use it on interior surfaces, but it works excellent at doing exterior surfaces. So it works on pillars, it works on moldings or mirrors or trim pieces. This is great for truck beds. If you have a faded truck bed, this is a great solution to repair any type of damage. Now as you notice, I'm getting a little bit on the window. I'm not too worried about that because I can go ahead and wipe it off with a microfiber towel at the end. A little bit goes a long way. That's why I'm only using a little tiny bit at a time. I'm not oversaturating my pad. Here we go. Look at that pillar. It just looks perfect. It looks new again. And to finish it off, I'm going to grab some my microfiber towel. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it off the window. And you notice with just a clean microfiber towel with no, no detail spray, no glass cleaner, I can wipe off the trim gel with no problem. So if you get it on any type of paint, if you get it on glass, just wipe it off. And then what I like to do after I put the, the trim gel over any type of surface is I like to take a microfiber towel and just give it one little quick wipe just to make sure that I don't have any excess trim gel on there. And now the surface really is dry to the touch. It feels dry, it looks like brand new, and it sets off this whole Mustang off. And you can see even at the bottom right here, there's more damage uh, from the buffer touching this trim. But if I take the trim gel and put it right on the bottom, same with the mirror, same with the top, it'll restore the look and make it look new again. So now you know how to quickly restore any type of trim using our brand new Chemical Guys trim gel. You can pick it up right now on our website, chemicalguys.com. It works on restoring plastic trim, vinyl trim. It also works on textured plastic and even works on tires as well. So you can get that nice, beautiful shine in just a few moments using a coated trim gel. So go to our website, check it out, pick it up. But always remember to have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing.